Yeah, she wants attention all the time. Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Battleground Games Live! Welcome to the loft of Battleground Games and Hobbies in Abington, Massachusetts, your friendly local game store in the greater Boston, Massachusetts area. Battleground has three convenient locations, one up in Saugus on Route 1 by the Fuddruckers, one down in Norton by the Xfinity Center, and one here in Abington that has a convenient law from which we can stream, which is what we do. Every Friday, we stream different board games on stream. Usually, it's just me, hi, I'm, I'm Andrew, and... Amanda. And our good friend... John. But today, we have special guests. Introduce special yourself, guest. special guests. My name is special guest Benny, and I'm... <laughs> The sister of this one, and the sister-in-law of, of that one, yes. and the daughter of this one. And I'm David, and I am the father of that, those two, and the father-in-law of that one. We're not related, John. How do Hello. You know? Pleasure. <laughs> yes. Unrelated strangers. So this is my favorite time of the entire year, which is when my father gets a chance to visit from California. So you're very jet-lagged. Nope. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm fine. I don't know. It's been awake for like, like 24 hours. Um, but yes. Uh, Dad is visiting for the Labor Day weekend, which means we get to have him on stream. So, welcome. It is so wonderful to see you. Good uh, to be here. And then I teased Amanda with the fact that I have a present for her. So I'm going to start the <laughs> stream today with the present time. Woo! Um, he had asked me, he said, um, I have a present for you. Do you want it now? Or do you want to wait until Friday and do it on camera? And I was like, I will wait until Friday. And he complimented my willpower. Okay, cool. Because that was days ago. Uh, but let's start with this. John, I have a present for you. Oh, thank God, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Is that something right. that actually belongs to you? want to tell us about Yeah, it is. <laughs> it does. Uh, oh, uh, this is Croc, Godzilla of the Swamp. Of course, it's also known as and just Croc. Because there's lady on the cover has nothing to do with the movie. She's not, not in, in the, the movie. movie. <laughs> uh, it does have Michael Madsen in the movie. Great. Uh, shot in Thailand. It is one of my favorites. So bad they're good. And uh, this is a collection. I never got to watch it. I'm very, very sorry. It got uh, lost on our table. If we do our a night, if we ever get a night, we, we will we'll, have we'll to sneak do this in. Yeah. Yeah. Fans of the screen That's on my list. Like I do want to see it. I just, okay. I, it got lost Would on the like table of doom. Nope, nope. I'll, I'll wait for the next. It night. also has four more, <laughs> like four movies on uh, that disc, right? Yes. The big one everyone was excited about was. Chupacabra versus the Alamo yeah. with uh, Eric Estrada. <laughs> I want to see that. Too. Sounds like an instant class. I see us. No, I can okay. see us. We're live. <laughs> yep. Okay, great. But yeah, you also have Maneater, Direwolf, and Grizzly Rage with quotes like enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> well, and you know that those quotes are always like seriously exaggerated. You know, it's it says things like the greatest movie yeah. this year. Enjoyable. <laughs> enjoyable probably means it's the worst. Oh my god. Uh, it's that... like when DVDs have special features like DVD menu. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Interactive menu. Uh, how cool is that? Oh boy, Lobster Revenge is in. Chat. <laughs> Hello. Huh. Yes. Revenge is oh. very good at multitasking. I understand. <laughs> oh God. Uh, oh, I wanted to test something actually. Oh, I'll wait until more people are in chat. Maybe more people will show up. Okay. okay. So that. Uh, so yeah. A while back, Amanda and I kickstarted a thing. <gasps> oh. This came in the mail oh. uh, on Tuesday. Okay, I'm gonna uh, give you more so room. Kickstarted a couple of things. Box full of like uh, packing material. Paper. So, heavy, heavy paper. Oh, but wait, what's this? There's a There's lot of some things. Other boxes in here. There's it's a, a box full of things. boxes. Oh boy, it's, it's like a Cards Against Humanity expansion. Time. What the heck? Here's one for John. One for Jenny. Ooh, such a nice wrapping job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And one for David. Okay. So before we get to this here, Amanda, I'll give you this box. Before oh, we get to the, the big box, what? Okay. Just to put over there for now. Before we get to the big box, you guys get to unwrap your other presents. Okay. okay. We'll do it alphabetically. Uh, Amanda yeah. goes first. Okay. You waited the longest. I mean, you guys have been waiting since you don't know how long. <laughs> since forever. Oh, oh, there we go. The the. 
last, I guess, of the expansions. I still want them to come out with one more. 13 and War Doctor? Is that right? Um, yeah. it's 13 and the War Doctor no. is what she hopes Yeah, 13 and War Doctor, Doctor is one I want. Okay. Uh, second Doctor and Sixth Doctor. Nice. So I've been painting um, the figures for Doctor Who, Time of the Daleks, which is actually an excellent game. Hello, Nova King. A lot of fun. Hey, Nova hey, King. Hey. Our chatbot was supposed to welcome you. Uh, uh, curse you. Have you made the new, uh, a new response? I did, but it didn't trigger. Okay. So Weird. Your chatbot's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, oh I'm gonna look. I want to look at the figures. Replied to me when I came on. <laughs> You've been inside a Dalek. Oh my awesome. god! Did you get That's to, like, so cool. Pedal it around. Was it? Sweet. At the um, Museum of the Moving Image in London, because I've been there and I know they had a Dalek there that you could get inside. I like it. Or was thing. it like a real one? I really like that they bubble wrap like those a, figures. Instead of like an exhibit one. That's really awesome. The Museum of the Moving Image was very cool. It was one of my favorite things that I visited when I was in in London. This is very, very tiny wrapping and bubble wrap. It's like two bubbles. Yeah. All right, so, so that is the sixth doctor? Yeah, like that's definitely or six. Sixth. Oh, man, six. I'm going to have to do his coat. <laughs> it's going to be so ugly. True that's true amazing. Life. That's really cool. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Yeah, this did is you, Colin Baker. Did you exterminate the motorway? The one on trial. Yeah, is, was the motorway exterminated? Did the protest work? Uh, yeah, the they Museum of the Moving Image. The if, you ever, if you ever get to London, to build bypasses. <laughs> I highly recommend checking out. Oh, no, that's annoying. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, beware of Jaguar. Um, Oh yeah, he's got his his pants. The plaid is molded in. Is he, does he does have he a piccolo? Have a no, his hand. Oh yeah, he does. Hey, it's like he's holding Second it behind doctor. his Yay. um. Yeah, the Vogons always win, especially at poetry readings. Resistance is futile. Um, yeah, that these are very nice sculpts. I am. I'm also looking forward to seeing what the new companions. Uh, I'm assuming he has Mary Jo. Um, so Who's let's, the guy with the kilt? Uh, it's Jamie. Jamie. So, oh, yeah. I'm looking yeah. forward. We're, once you finish painting all these guys, Amanda, these we're I'm play I'm very very Amanda much or... looking forward to painting. Um, they the expansions only add enough for two Extra more yeah. players. So um, all of the expansions come with orange and purple rounds. Um, so you still Oh yes, it definitely comes with Perry. Yeah, it definitely has Perry in it. We we pondered so Amanda and I got a new cat. I don't know if you saw we talked about that last week, Nova Kane. Uh and our last two cats were named for Doctor Who uh companions. Oh we had Leela and Adric. And Adric. Uh so when we got our new cat, we were pondering uh different names for her. So you had mentioned um uh Nissa. And I was like, she's, she's no, no. feisty. You mentioned Nyssa. And I was like, she's too feisty to be Nyssa. And then you mentioned Tegan. And yes, we didn't I think she was a Tegan. Tegan. She could, actually probably could have been a Tegan. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing what we know about, about her now. <laughs> we'll name her Chameleon. Sure. Uh, but no, um, we ultimately named her Clara. Because she's our impossible girl. She's the impossible girl. girl. Okay. But she... We didn't realize it at the time that we adopted her, but she is very loud. She's real vocal. Yeah. So she could easily have been a Perry. <laughs> we, had, we had always sort of joked that if we ever got a Siamese cat, we'd have to name it Perry because Siamese are known to be like real talkative and loud. So. <laughs> no, she's just like a regular tuxedo cat. She's just a black and white cat. But man, does she talk. She never stops. Now that she's comfortable with us, she is just always talking. She's okay. sweetie. She's noisy. But we love her. Okay. We have Ben Jackson, Polly Wright, Jamie McCrimmon. Yay. Uh, Victoria Waterfield, H.G. Wells. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. why not? Um, but we also have, and this is interesting because this is not a companion from either of these doctors, Phil Potts who is one of the most recent companions Interesting. from 12. Uh, Perry Brown, there's Perry. And then we've got our second and sixth Doctor cards. Zoe Harriet. Uh, 
Sabalom Glitz, who I don't know, and Dibber. Uh, the Brigadier, I believe, is in the base game. Okay. Not in the third doctor? I, I think you he's in right. the base game because he's such a well-known companion that yeah. they just put him in the base game. I mean, he did appear um, with he most was with of the doctors after the third. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart is in the base game. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Anyhow, so I've that... been very impressed with all the sculpts, and everything in this game has been really impressive. It's a great game. I, the game's great. I wish it had done the materials are great. Launch, but now that we've got all the figures, we'll, we'll have and to all show the expansions. It yeah, definitely. Um, I given that they're in color. Sabaton Gits is a fourth Doctor character. He's. Uh, it does look like it's mixed in okay. terms of which which companions are. I feel like from he's from the Key to Time series. Oh, he might be. Um, shall we open another one? Sure. New Prezies. Benny. Next in alphabetical order. I don't order. know if this is something you already have or not. I don't brown, either. Brown paper? <laughs> you probably have. But now oh, you have more. This is... Oh! Desserts. We played that oh, before. Yes, I do not that. have this. As seen on Jules's... Uh, easy best. going games. Small easy games. I don't know what it is. Oh, is it a watching it, thing? I've forgotten all about it. It involves dessert. We I had played some this with today. You have, um, like you have ingredients soup. and you're trying to yeah. make the right desserts. Oh, that's right, and try to entice people. So you're dinner. basically, you have customers Just come like into your dessert life. shop, mm -hmm. yeah, and you and have to, they have a favorite, favorite dessert. dessert, but they have components that they want in a dessert. Yeah. And if you get the right components, it makes them happy. But if you get their favorite dessert, that it's makes them even happier. Extra happy. Yeah, super bonus happy. Some it of has these quite pictures of desserts are very confusing. Well, they're, so they have very strange Looney ingredients. Labs game. Yeah. Yes. yes. And we're big Looney Labs fans. <laughs> so, and I believe the Loonies are actually. I'm pretty sure the Loonies uh, are customers Looney. that you yeah. can attract. That's right. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. The Loonies very nice. are very funny. Cool. Isn't there a character whose whole thing is she doesn't have a favorite at all and she just loves vegetables? Something, Something like that. that. Yeah. yeah. There's one of the, there, veg, <laughs> vegetables is one of the potential <laughs> types of dessert, like so, like carrot cake yeah. would be yes. veggie and like frosting or yeah. something like that. So, yeah. But yeah. Okay. This is great. Okay. There's like rhubarb pie or something like oh, yeah, that that's that's nice. in there. So yeah. I, I pondered getting you, Benny, um, Pandemic Rising Tide, but then I figured you probably own every pandemic. I don't own every pandemic. I have maybe three of them only. I have the, the base game. The <coughs> the first expansion that has like the the bio warfare person. Yes, mm -hmm. the traitor, right? The fifth player yeah, expansion. Yeah. yeah. And I have Iberian Peninsula. Peninsula, is that right? Yeah. 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 Yes. And I have I have another one. What is the other one that I have? Anyway. Okay. This is exciting. Yay. Have to play a new game. Yep. Okay. We'll play it. It's fun. Oh, surprise My presents. priority for you, Sorry. I actually had two priorities. I wanted something you could easily put into a carry-on bag mm -hmm. so that you could go back to California without having to mail it to yourself. Uh, and something that was possible to be done solo, solo player. Oh, okay. I'm wondering what this is. It's a I'll deck try of cards. and save the uh, wrapping paper so we can use it next oh, time. Oh, sure. This was expensive wrapping paper, <laughs> <Had to reuse laughs> wrapping paper from the, uh, the Kickstarter. Ooh. All right. Uh, that, Let's that see what you got. That came in that oh, oh, I've seen this one. Mint delivery. Ah. Minty. It comes in a can that looks like mints. That's what I was thinking it was. <laughs> mints for sure. Don't accidentally eat your game. No. Bad. Ramen Fury has the same problem. Yeah, Ramen Fury definitely has Ooh, that look, problem. That's a it is, lot it is of very nice edible pieces. looking, isn't it? It's got meeples? Many, many, well, it's got little carts and cars and things. And Ooh. Vehicles. And it's half instructions. Oh, there's When you cars. say family, <laughs> is that in a social sense or a biological sense? So um, these three are related. Uh, yes. David is Andy and Benny's father, and I am married to Andy. And uh, so yes, we are family, and John is friend. Yes, family game night. So you don't have to learn. Yeah, to I've play actually it now. seen but photos of. <laughs> I met Andy when Andy was in his early twenties, and I have seen photos of his father when his father was in his early twenties, and um, 
there is a striking resemblance. Yeah. <laughs> Basically clones. It was like looking it was at a biological picture of Andy. experiment. Oh my gosh. And okay. Andy, Andy and his brother also look very much alike. Thank you. I'm going to play this. Well, Benny and I can play this and her game when we get back. Perfect. Or tomorrow. It's awesome. Or we can play it on yeah. Sunday. Yeah. On Sunday, we'll definitely we'll, we, we'll nope. play test it before that. Sure. Be yeah, we'll have to learn how to beat you if, all. If I were to ever get my father on stream, which I won't, but because um, I know he won't, um, my father and I look a lot alike. I definitely get no, my father's. Wanting to tighten up the lid so it stays shut. Uh, it's got so many oh, right. things in it. Once you take the plastic. Hey, John, oh, maybe that's it's your turn to open a present. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see how this goes. We're just going to go for the hold yeah, just, in one just go. Do it. Nope. Oh. Right. But I was. There you there go. Right. All right, we've got the bargain quest. This was another game that I thought we might play today. Although uh, I didn't open it to read the instructions because I gave it to John. <laughs> so so. Uh, I have played this once before. Okay. So this is an option for today. Essentially, it's a um, everyone's a shopkeeper. And your goal is simple. There are dragons and monsters abound. But you want to sell items to the adventurers. But you want to make sure you still make a nice profit off it. So sell them the cheapest items possible to kill the monsters. Oh, that's while neat. Still I like killing that idea. the monster. <laughs> Otherwise the town's going to get wrecked by something. <laughs> so yeah, it needs to be cheap but effective. Uh, I've heard it's a great opener game for like smaller game nights, but it's up to six players. So this should neat. be exciting sometime. All right. Very cool. nice. Uh, so now I'm into the big box. Uh, oh, I thought that the Doctor Who game came no. in that box and I was no. like, this seems like poor packaging logistics. I, when you said Kickstarter, it took me a second. What do you guys This get? is very exciting. You're off camera. Ooh, minis. That's I'm, the Pacific Rim. The box is very yeah. large, so I'm going to take things out of the box. Amanda, you don't have to paint any of the figures. No, I don't. Is Gypsy okay? Gypsy's okay. Okay. So. Oh. This is another river horse game, I believe. Yes. Yes. Uh, River Horse, River this one I will have to, I will have to paint, I'll have to paint Scrapper. Um, uh, there beautiful. were a number of tiers to this game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we kicked it at this level that got us Battle Damage Gypsy. I yeah. Uh, oh no, this okay. isn't Battle Damage Gypsy. Um, well, then we have gypsy. two regular Gypsy Dangers. That's weird. Oh well. But yes, this is a board game based on the movie Pacific Rim, which both Amanda and I are enormous fans of. Mm -hmm. uh, there were higher tiers. I think the highest tier was like three hundred dollars. Something ridiculous. I chose not to do that, um, even though it came with a good number of little minis. Okay, it's understandable. I've been wondering if this was going to be similar in gameplay to the Highlander game because um, River Horse does tend to use similar mechanics in multiple games. Highlander was a lot of fun. Highlander was a ton of fun. And it's a dueling mechanic. So I was like, oh, maybe it'll be a dueling mechanic for this. This is amazing looking. That's a bad Holy. looking mini. Bad mamma jamma. So are these based off specific that was in the second one, wasn't it? kaiju from the movies? Or are they uh, original kaiju? No, I think I, these are based on actual kaiju from the movies. I can't remember that one. That's one of the three in the closing, in the final battle. My goodness. Okay. So yeah, there were a bunch more figures that we didn't spring for, so yeah. we didn't get Cherno. I really wanted to be able yeah, to get Yeah, Cherno Alpha, Alpha would have been great. But Is that the three they may sell it individually online. We may be able to yeah, get a hold of it. Pick it up for $300 <laughs> uh, yeah. from eBay. Look at those dice. Nice. Those are nice. Okay. This is great. So, happy Labor Day, <laughs> family and friends. And you gave Labor. me a game about work. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, thank you for the, the host, Nova Game. Thank you. <laughs> at at okay. least the, the bot remembered to do that. Oh, there we go. I'll we'll have to figure out why it didn't welcome you. Yeah. Uh, 
if they were to leave and come back, maybe it would work? Would that work? Mm. No. No, it is it the bot just it. off? Yeah. Okay. The this, bot's off. This oh, the bot is, is on. An impressive it. rule book. Yeah. Is this going to be more intensive than we thought? Yeah. Okay. Down. This There's a lot here. Oh, my there goodness. There are witches. I, ha I just have to share, like, look at this. Is that the board? Ooh, this it's is a, a play mat. I love uh, fold out play mats for board games. It's double sided. Yeah. So it's got like. The rim. Yeah. And then the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Cool. I like that. That's cool. awesome. And then it has, it has your little cards. And then it has. Hex tiles. Oh, hexes. To All put right, out. This is a game and a half. We're gonna have to play There's going to be a lot going on in this game. This is uh, no wonder it took so long to come out. Because yeah. I've been thinking, oh man, they, you know, I haven't heard anything about it in a while, and yeesh. maybe they folded. Or something. Well, I knew River Horse hadn't folded, but I was like, did this turn out to be like kind of a non-starter? Did like it mm. kickstarted, but did it turn out that like, did, they didn't really have quite See, enough to yeah. get it going? You know, because there's no guarantee when you kickstart something that it's actually going to Go get through. made, you know. Because um, there are all sorts of complications, especially with, like, people getting parts made in China, and there's always issues with stuff like that. So... The big example, I think, being the uh, 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 Evil Dead 2 game. Yeah. That had got the funding, but immediately Where they just disappeared. We Scrapper was separate. It was a little bonus thing. Yeah. And... Um, that oh. one is metal, so I'm going to have to trim that and yeah, actually rough. put it together, which oh, is no, awesome. It's not evil dead. I'm no, no, no. Um, but yeah, this was definitely. That came never I've been thinking made. about it for a while, thinking, ooh, maybe it's not going to come out. But it did! It came out! There you go. River Horse does amazing work with their minis they and their do. figures. There's and I no love that, that these are not just these are not minis, they are giant. <laughs> that makes me very happy. They certainly they are. They remind me a lot of the Titans. And Andy, battles. this is um, supposed to be Gypsy Avenger in this oh, one. Okay. Because so. this is based yeah. on the sequel, which wasn't that, as good, but I did enjoy that was right. it. Right. Um, and then good that's good. Gypsy Danger, and then this is one of the extra kaiju. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. So, okay. we have So, these. for tonight, for our primary, or for at least one game that we're going to play tonight, we probably won't have time for two games. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll see what happens. How long this takes. Uh, as a nice little surprise, I believe, Andy, you have something to say about this game? Yes. So, uh, yesterday in our shipment, we received a game that I had not ordered. Uh, and I do the ordering for the Battleground location in Abington. So I was kind of curious why we received this game. It turns out that it is a uh, demo copy of a game that is not available yet. Ravnica Inquisition. So viewers of the stream may recall that we did a four-part D&D adventure on stream since the world fun. of Ravnica. So we're pretty familiar with Ravnica, although I think Benny, you're not. Totally unfamiliar. Uh, we can explain it to you. I watched a couple of it, so you know yeah. some of Ravnica. This is a game set in the world of Ravnica, which is a Magic the Gathering you can see. Magic. Uh, a Magic the Gathering setting that is probably their most popular plane. Not the plane they've been to the most, because that would be Dominaria. Yeah, that would definitely like be Dominaria. The first several years. Um, um, but the yeah, it's definitely, I think it is their, their, it's their most well-known setting in terms yeah. of like people knowing what Ravnica means because Dominaria is sort of a kind of generic fantasy setting in a lot of ways yeah. because it was meant to be kind of all-encompassing um, so that they didn't really need to mention that they were on Dominaria, whereas Ravnica has a, a gimmick to yes. it. So for those unfamiliar with magic, uh, you use... Um, five colors of mana to cast your spells in magic. There's white, blue, black, red, and green. And if you mix any two of those colors, you get ten different possible combinations. 
Ravnica, the city of guilds, is a plane where the entire world is nothing but one enormous city run by ten guilds. Each guild handles is, a different aspect yeah, of life. Handles a different aspect of life for the city and is based on a two color combination. Uh, and that's why it's been revisited several times through magic is that people love these guilds, they love yep. the flavor. There's they a lot love, of lore involved yeah. in it. There's and there's a lot you can it, there's a lot of design space, as they say in like the magic design sphere, um, for a two color combination. There's mm -hmm. a lot you can do with that. And the personality behind the guilds has been latched onto by a lot of people. And then the interactions between the guilds have been really popular and how so after, the, they politic with each other. After the first three set block of Ravnica, um, they went back there again with Return to Ravnica. And then a couple years later, five years later, yeah. uh, they went back again to Ravnica with Guilds of Ravnica and ultimately the uh, War, War of the Spark, which is a big deal in magic. So It was a big story beat. It this, was the culmination of a lot yeah. of story that they had been telling for several years. This game, which has not come out yet, is a game that takes place in the world of Ravnica during the War of the Spark. And it is a deductive reasoning game where the guilds have been um, infiltrated by agents of Nicol Bolas, the evil dragon who is trying to rule the entire multiversal. And uh, Nicol Bolas is kind of a jerk. Yeah. Is he all five colors, bag. Nicol Bolas, or is he just missing white? Uh, he wouldn't, he normally, wouldn't have white. No. Uh, um, he's normally three color. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I want to say he's Grixis. Um, I think he's Grixis. But that's not necessarily important to this game, but you do need to know about the guilds. And will Amanda and I will sort of cover the flavor yeah. of the guilds as we play. Okay. So the essence of this game is... Yeah, he's Grixis. He's blue, black, red. So red um, representing okay. like rage and very uh, like a fiery temper sort of deal. Black is usually aligned with death and evil. Yeah. Not always evil, no, but, but usually death. death. Um, and blue is usually like intelligence and learning and the thirst for knowledge. Um, those tend to be some of the things that are associated with those colors. And those are definitely the things associated with those colors that Nicol Bolas is getting out of them. Yeah. So. so the way this game is going to work is, before we started tonight, Dad set up this roll deck, and if he read the instructions, which he did, <laughs> there are two agents of Nicol Bolas in this deck, and three uh, agents of the Guild Watch, or of the Gate Watch. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to be randomly assigned cards. We are not to reveal to each other what faction we belong to yet. Yet. Uh, and then through the course of five rounds, the five of us, or those of us who are not agents of Bolas, will uh -huh. attempt to uncover the agents of Bolas. At the end of the fifth round, we're going to vote some folks off the island. Oh, God. And the there are mechanics that kill people. So uh, at the end of the game, if both of the agents of Nicol Bolas have been defeated, the gate watch wins. If neither of them has been defeated or only one has, the agents win. Okay. Sweet. I like it. So we'll start by giving everybody a roll. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you, and one for you, Benny. All right. So now, investigate your roll. Make sure you know what side you're on. Excellent. Um, but don't reveal it to everybody else yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we also each are a member of a guild. Oh. Yes, this is randomly assigned as well. Come on. Come on. What color do you want to be? What color do I want to be? Yeah. So if anyone has watched um, Ravnica Rising, will know that I played a Golgari 
uh, character, which is the Black and Green <coughs> Guild. They hang out in the sewers. They do a lot of farming. They also take care of basically the city's trash, which you might imagine there's a lot of. Yeah. They're a little looked down on. They're kind of bitter about it. Um, but I was actually a Demir agent in disguise. The whole, the whole time. The Demir are blue black, blue black, and they are information brokers and also spies. Okay. So. All right, this is not secret information. Oh. This must be revealed to huh. the table. I am a member of the Rakdos. I am black and red. So I you're got the a carnival busker. Yes. Yeah. I got the gruel. I am Roll. the red and green. I believe they are... Um, what are they? <laughs> uh, so <laughs> clans are, they like to destroy so that you yes, can then rebuild. they like smashing things. Yeah, they okay. like to smash. I, I'm a fan. Okay, I'm Orzhar. Oh, the, the church. breaks white ties. Yeah, you're basically the mafia as a church. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty so awesome. you are black and white. I am Simic. Oh, cool. Yeah. I like Simic too. Green and blue. So they, the Simic are scientists. Ooh. They do a lot of genetic engineering. Yes. They are evolution. Mm. They, they like to combine things with other things to make new things frequently that have tentacles. Or why, why wouldn't they have tentacles? Exactly, right? <laughs> um, I think their leader right now is an elf ooze. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is great. Um, I'm a member of the Azorius, uh, and so the Azorius are the law keepers. Not the military, that's the Boros, which are red-white, but blue-white are like the lawyers and judges and stuff like that. Um, and they do, they are sort of a police force. They'll, they'll stop you from making a mess. Looking at the gruel there. The, the, Looking the, at the Rakdos. Rakdos. <laughs> the Rakdos are just in it for the fun. They are uh -huh. in it for the fun. They're black and red, they're all about death Fun for everyone. Burning. They have really cool bikes and motorcycles. Like they're they're the Mad Max essentially, yeah. but as a carnival. Probably yeah. wicked yes. parties too. Oh yes. yeah, lot of lot of blood, lot of laughter. So it's very cool scythe weapons. That all of us know what colors everybody is. This is public information. Okay. So keep track of what colors everybody is, because as the game goes on, you're going to have to choose people that are a particular color. So I find these hard to. So this see the, the colors. They're like yeah, they're not, it's not you know? it, they're not soup. They're like pastel. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I am red and, and green. red. Red and yeah, green. We should play them facing. Yeah, that's a good else. idea. Okay. Wait, so black yeah, and I red. I am black and red. He is red and green. I am Dad black is, and white. Yep. Oh. You are blue and green. Blue and green. And you are blue and white. white. Blue and white. Blue and white. So you should have colors Black, in common, I think, if this white, is broken out the way I think it is, red, green, with two other people at the table. Duke and yeah. Duke. So like yours, you have a color in common with me, and you have a color in common with John. Oh, I see. And I have a color in common with you, and a color in common, in common with David. I only see two um, whites. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah, you should only get two of, two of each color, and then your other color you'll gotcha. have in common with someone yeah, this else. This is a game for five to ten players. Because there's so ten guilds. you add more guilds. These are the base guilds for the game. You add more guilds if there's more players. All right. Uh, you will note that each of us breaks a particular kind of tie. So I break tie blue. votes. I break blue break ties. I break red ties. I break I white ties. I break green ties. And I break black ties. Wait, what's the what is what are ties? I mean, so we're going to be doing voting. Uh -huh. So if there's a vote, Not like time. Yeah. and tie. you get sort of a, a tie. you can break a tie if there's certain colors involved. All so right. you get like a tie-breaking vote. So oh. one more piece of uh, work has to be done Leaders. before we can begin playing. Everybody, close your eyes. Oh, it's a dark night. Is everybody's eyes closed? Uh -huh. Yep. Agents of Volus, you may reveal yourselves to each other. So the two agents of Volus, open your eyes and figure out who the other agent of Volus is. Do the two agents of Volus know who they are? They should. Don't answer. Yeah. We don't know who you are. <laughs> and now, everybody close your eyes again. And open your eyes. All right. And chat, don't tell us. Yeah, that's right. Chat knows. Oh, chat spoilers. Chat knows, but don't reveal. I can't look All at right. the screen. 
for a few more minutes. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh. Did somebody say in the chat? I no, no, but I can't can look see. at the video. Oh, the video yeah. Yeah. I see. I, I saw myself oh, my. reach for my okay. water, so okay. I know where we are. So if I'm trying to like, oh, oh. play a gruel character, what should I be kind of like? Gruel are ogres and centaurs, and they wield big clubs, and they have wild rumpuses. Yeah, they have the wild rumpus, basically. We have a gruel. Yeah, no spoilers. I'm gonna. I'm actually. I think going to pop out the chat. Okay. And hide the video for myself. Gotcha. All right. So. So now, gameplay time. The way the game is going to work is. In each round, we're going to reveal a leader card. Okay. Then we are all going to discuss who we believe should be the leader for that round. The leader for that round gets to do a thing, and what they get to do depends on what color leader they are. Okay. So during the discussing who becomes leader portion, we're all going for the people who qualify for being leader, which have to be the two people who are that color have to give their case why they should be leader. Then everybody votes. We can break ties, but we won't because there's five people. Right. Uh, and then somebody becomes leader, does a thing, and then we move on to the next round. Uh, and the things are five rounds. a separate thing. Yes, there are five rounds. Oh my God. At the end of the fifth round, that's when everything happens. Okay. <laughs> so, Dad. Reveal the first leader card. The leader for the first round is green leader. Oh, green leader. So that's between the two of us. Yeah. All right. So the green leader. Cool. Wait, that that's a. Uh, I've covered the video. Sylvan character, isn't it? It's very yes. elf-like. But the Sylvans aren't even in this choice. Well, no, that is a Celestia character. That Celestia, is yeah. The, uh, that's the elfus. Yeah. No, that's. Celestia. Is that not? That's that's oh, uh, yeah. the 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 girl uh, demand an ogre be leader. Yeah. Trostani, the the uh, living tree that guides the Celestia Guild. Okay. Yep. It says here, TM and copyright. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very helpful text. It's All right. So the green leader, whomever it ends up being, draws the top card of the targeting deck, which okay. is something we haven't talked about yet, but you'll see it in a moment. Uh, looks at it without revealing it to everybody else then chooses a player that matches that color and looks at the chosen player's face down cards. So if this had happened later in the game, they'd have a chance to look and see... Who's who? Well, other face down cards, but they at least get to see the roll. But you'll have other face down cards as we go. Okay. The target cards get played face down as well. Uh, so our two green leader options are John, and Benny. Okay. Uh, so. And Benny is a wise and in inventive race. Yes. Insightful inventive in the, in the and sciences and the, the sciences manipulating and nature. You manipulate nature in a destructive a kind of way. A, a more practical way, if you could say. No, he's more, more destructive. destructive and <laughs> yeah. He's more destructive. Destructive and constructive, yes. Okay. So tell we us. create. Potential green leaders. What? Whose card? And okay, I should say. The rules explicitly state lying is permitted. Okay. But if you lie this early, There's no perhaps point. it will cast an ill repute upon you. Whose face down card do you want to look at? Or you could just do this in character. You know, give us a reason to oh, vote yeah. for one of you two. Wait, I'm confused. So wait, we're we're debating between which one of the her. two She's of us. Confused. Yeah. So one of us it, we're debating to see who becomes leader, right, between right. the two of us. And the green leader is the one who gets to look at somebody else's face down card. So are we arguing that we should look at this character's card, or are we arguing we should be leader? You're arguing that you should be leader. Okay. But this I is think one the of the most ways effective to way someone. to pitch your leadership is to say, I won't look at your card. Like, uh, okay, um, who do you want to look at? Well, it seems that it should be irrelevant. We have very little information at this stage. Yeah. Pretty much. I have uh, very little information on which to decide whose card I'll look at. Uh, I'd probably pick Dave because he's close to me, or Andy because he's close to me. 
Those are my two options. I got my vote. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, and such a, a, a brute way of reasoning it is. Whoever is close, whoever you can hit. Essentially. It's who you choose. Right. Of course, that's how you would make your decision. Scientific way to make your decision. Yes, very scientific. I shall use reasoning and statistics and a pipette and oh, random oh no, chance. She's speaking my language. <laughs> <laughs> what if I choose not to pick your card? Can I still be the leader? What? If you choose. If I choose not to do your card, would can I, I vote get for you? you? Wait, did, do we vote ourselves? Everybody votes. So, I'm including the I'm two not people voting for you. I'm I can't vote for, for you either, I guess. All players no. uh, discuss their plans. All players vote for one player of the current color to be that color's leader. Including the people who are yeah. running to be leaders. So, I'm going to so get, get one vote. vote You're going to get one vote. Everybody is going to raise their hand. We count and three, two, point. one, and then point at the person you want to be leader. Okay. Are you ready? Well, wait, are we or, still debating or, this? Or? No, go ahead. Let's what just else? go. Let's you already okay, gave okay. us your okay, argument. Let, let's vote. Your okay. argument then is you're going to no look argument. at her. Well, gonna I'm going to use chairs. pipettes. Now I'm using pipettes to make my decision. Pipettes? Well, so you two probably shouldn't vote for him. Why? Because you're going to look at their cards, maybe. But I don't, yeah. Yeah, but if they're good, they don't care. My card's a secret. Yeah, but so with him, you have a 50-50 chance of having your card looked at. I told you I was going to use statistics. With me, <laughs> you have only a 1 in 4 chance of having your card looked at. Better for you. But either way, you're still statistically likely to get picked. All right, is, everybody, everybody has a 1 in 4 chance. I think they're voting for. I think we need to vote. I, yeah. Yes. All right. All right. One, two, three. Vote. Uh, yeah. yeah. Winner. Benny gets winner, four votes. Winner. John gets one vote. <laughs> All right. So, so Benny, you are green leader. Great. Keep that. Who do you want to look at? Put it over here somewhere. Yep. And then you get to choose somebody's card, because somebody's all their face down cards, and we each have one face down card. And don't to look I also at. do something with this? You get to look oh, at the that's targeting right. deck. Yep, that's the targeting deck. So does so that go first, or does she look deck. at the card first? No, she looks at the targeting deck. And is this deck something first. we can all see? Uh, no, that's hidden information. Hidden and information. And I, I look at this? Yep, you look at that, and you must choose somebody of that color and look at their card. So, so this whole debating who could... Their oh, wasn't relevant. So it wasn't really a one for no. chance. <laughs> so you just... Why do you have us spin the up. wheel? Anyways. You oh. throwing wrenches into things. So chaos wins no matter what. My logic is always sound. <laughs> Those who John watch the stream like knows. Yeah, John chaos. does like chaos. Uh, okay. All right, Benny. So you're going to use your. T you're going to target some color, which we don't know yet. Yeah, Facts. she does not reveal that card. It's a face down card for the remainder of the game. Okay, so we won't know. Right. So you each have till the colors. end of the fifth yeah. round. So, yeah. We won't know. And All what right. does this card do ultimately? That it means just tells us it tells you who you can who, who's available for you. Are. All right. And so at the end of the fifth round, though, all it does is just sit here. It doesn't like. Yeah. Yes. And then later, you said people will look at your face down cards, so someone will be able to know. Yeah. So somebody who could look at your face down cards could look at that card and know what color you had. Okay. Who's it? Might be relevant. It might not be. Okay, we're gonna find out. Next are we leader. Ready? Yes. Wait. What Whose do I do? Card do are I you do it? At? I'm gonna look at Amanda's card. Okay. All right. Go for it, Amanda. I don't want to see. Benny now knows Amanda's role, and Benny knows Benny's role. Yeah. I told and, you I wouldn't look at your card. Who here are agents of bonus? Okay, next leader. All right. Is that it? Yep, that's the end of that round. No dice? No next dice. Next leader. White leader. It's the white leader. So I've it's between Amanda it's and Dave. Out. What is okay. the white leader going to get to do? Oh, uh, yes. The white leader is actually one of the crappiest leaders. Oh. <laughs> Well, I don't want that then. This leader draws a card from the targeting deck face down, looks at it, then chooses a player that matches that color. The leader shows their roll card to the chosen player without choosing, showing it to anybody else. So you're choosing to give to your own information. Your roll, roll card to. So okay. I guess that's a white. I don't know how that's white. Okay, I know who I'm Round voting for. One. So who is it? It's, it's Amanda between and these. Me. All right. So what is your guys' argument? So I guess. In this round, we the voters. I could say I'll show my card to you, you know, but, but that only gets me it's one vote. And it's randomized. Right, yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> I've got nothing to hide. I'm in I the Azores. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. Oh, yeah. Um, Nobody saw me do it. I'm in the Azores. All right, Dave, what's your argument? We don't do anything wrong. Let's we uphold see. the law. I am. I'm, 
law. I'm going to have to show my card to someone. Yes. yes. If you are the person who is voting. If, if, if you vote for me, I'm going to have to show my card to someone. Yes. And you get to choose between two potential and we people. we don't yet know who. It's going to be yes. one or two, two of you are going to be the candidates, or possibly only one of you. The yes. only thing we know yeah. about the card she got is that it targeted either someone who was blue or white. Yes, so she's got a blue or white card. Oh, and man, there's, there's only one of each. There's one of each in here. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you want to know my card, Good night, you should no, vote okay. for me. At least you'd have a chance. Thank Thank you for Thanks, for, Thanks for joining. Okay. Are right, we gonna vote now then? If you want to know my card, vote for me. Or Amanda, did you have anything else you wanted to add? Like I said, I've done nothing wrong. Okay. And I don't mind revealing my card to anyone. Okay. All right, ready? Okay. Three, two, one, vote! <laughs> <laughs> Bye for Dave. Unanimous. He voted for himself. <laughs> All right, Dave. <laughs> I figured I was going to get it. Okay. Right. Okay, so, so I get without revealing to us what the target is. I must check And you get this. the white leader card. Oh, yes. White leader. Oh, she's nice. I like her. Yes, that Pretty is a Boros leader. She's an angel. Okay. So we the use art obviously is fantastic yep. in this game because is it is magic art and magic art. So we used so literally the guild leaders of the guilds we're not playing with for the leader cards. I guess. <laughs> Sometimes right. this art is kind of obscure, but I so know. So I'm red and green. Yeah. He is You're black red green. green. Black and red. Black, black and red. I'm white and blue. White and blue. And blue and, and green. Green and blue. So you must choose one of us to whom you will reveal your hidden role. Well, the question is, whom do I trust? Whom do you trust that you have the ability to reveal to? Yes. yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there's a certain degree of randomness in this game. Yeah. It's interesting. Uh, it probably plays more into the... Yeah, let's go around again. You are red, red and, green. and green. Red and green. I wish they had just had red or green instead yeah. of these vague colors. I am yeah. black and red. Black and red. Black. White and blue. White and blue. Green and, blue. Green and blue. Okay, I am prepared to reveal my secret card to Andy. Okay, Andy. So he had either the black card or the green or the uh, red card. Interesting. Okay. Isn't it? Wait, can you tell me what happens in the very end? We vote who to kill. Yeah, yes. I assume. There's some people that might be killed by other means. Yes. No so there are other things that are going to happen. All right, are we ready? Yep. Next leader is the blue, blue leader. What does uh, blue leader get to do? I haven't had a chance to be leader at all. <laughs> so that's between so, me and Benny. Benny's already got one leader card. Do we want her to have and two? And have you not seen how well I wielded my leadership so very well and said, responsibly? At the end of the game, only leaders get to vote people off. Wow. So anybody who's not a leader has no vote. They get tiebreaker votes if the leaders are tied. Oh. If you get two leader cards, you get two votes? No, you only get one vote. Okay. Wasted. Uh, but you'd be taking a vote away from somebody else. Mm. Oh, yeah, so what does the blue leader so, get So if we play do? this right, we can probably just have two voters. <laughs> yeah, essentially. And There's then one of you five, breaks the tie. No, there would have to be three. Oh, wow. Anyways, uh, the blue leader draws a card from the targeting deck, reveals it, then chooses a player uh, of that color. Each other player of that color looks at the chosen player's roll card. So one other person would get to see that person's card, perhaps the leader, but perhaps not. Yes. Yeah. Right. All right, so it is Amanda or Benny. What's the argument? Make your pitch. You know, do you really want only one leader? We have with, two now. With like I guess. multiple, but do, that's true. I feel like we need to share the wealth. That Ravnica is a city of guilds, will not you, one guild ruling over everyone else. My question is, will you vote for me when I get the red for the red card? Because I've already lost the green oh. card. Because I need the red card. Well, Andy still has a chance for black red, leader. Black, and red. So. black or red. So yeah, that would fit. I'll vote for Andy for black. Very magnanimous. Yeah. yeah, this yeah. is a complicated web of allegiances. I guess so. That's Ravnica for you. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that definitely, it definitely describes that. All right, so uh, Benny, we're what is voting your for one of the two of them. Benny, what's your argument? I will. Can you read the, the action again? Okay. Azorius so, gives out fair judgment she, to all. The blue leader is going to reveal 
the targeting card and choose a player of that color. Each other player of that color looks at the chosen player's roll card. Okay. So the person who she chooses, whomever it is, one of these two. I'm, I'm giving you information. Somebody else is going to get a chance to the look Azorius at their card. the Azorius are all about. So the wait, does that mean hide. only one player of that color gets to see the other person's cards? Yes. Okay. Of the color on whichever one we get. Whichever one she yeah. gets, yeah. Okay. Uh, I have made I, my decision. I will... As a thought. Make I you so. win better. Okay. <laughs> Brownie. <laughs> Can't fight that long, really. <laughs> Well, that's a compelling <laughs> argument, Benny. Good Are job. we ready to vote? I guess so. Okay. Three, two, two one, one, vote. vote. No. Amanda. <laughs> Amanda gets four votes and is blue right. leader. So blue leader. Reveals the top of the... Oh, I'm the slime elf. Oh. Nice. Wait, is that Simic? Yeah, that's the elf. Why does that one match? See how she's all Why not? See how she's glowing. Oh, slime stuff. Elf. Yeah, she's she's awesome. Okay. We'll show off some of right. in a little bit. Black. Okay. Oh. Ah, so you can so. choose me or you can choose dad. Yeah. If you choose dad, I get to look at his card. Or which I've person. already looked at. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if you choose me, dad gets to look at my card. So if you choose yeah. me, then um Dad is gaining information. If you choose Dad, no information is gained because I already have seen Dad's card. But right. if you choose me, I won't vote for you as a uh, blue leader. Oh, I've already missed that chance. Yes, yeah. you've already you're already tried both to pull your my, bluff. Both of my leader leader chances have come up. All right. Um. So that gains me nothing. Yeah. So I'm voting for you. So you have to give you your card to him. Dad, this is Please my reveal. All right, cool. Next, Rita. All right. More information has been discovered. Right. So now, who knows Benny's idea? Or no, I know Dad. No, no. She kn uh, Benny knows Amanda's. Yep. You know You know mine, his, and I know you yours. Versa. Okay. Okay. No one knows John's. No one knows no mine, one knows and Benny's. no one knows Benny's. All right. Next leader is... Black the leader. Black leader. Okay. I believe that's He's Jared, Bulgari Lich Lord. Yeah, that's Jared. So my vote automatically goes to Andy. Andy, everyone is, is Jared. Leader, what does Black Leader get to do? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the... That's, that's the, that's the uh, Demir Leader. Yeah, what is his name? Uh, uh, I don't know. We don't know. We don't uh, know, Andy. Don't you think they make a nice leader. couple? They do. Uh, so the Demir is black and white. Um, is he he's actually is he a shapeshifter. Oh, cool. And Lazav. he's Lazav the shape. He's a shapeshifter. He okay. can look like anything. All right, black. The black leader draws a card from the targeting deck face down, looks at it, then secretly notes a player that matches that color for the ultimate price card. The noted player will die at the end of the final round. Wow. So whomever... So wait, is wow. Red the other one that chooses someone to die? Yeah. Red this has this one. This game comes with a pad and oh, pencil God. for the black leader to mark the name of the person to die at the end of the game. Oh, my God. And so okay. does that person's uh, vote end up not counting, like they don't get a vote or something because they're no. dead? No, it's at the end of the final round. It's after all the votes have been tallied. Okay. Oh, and the who wins depends on... How many people of which clan have died? Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I have two of you. Those two. Yeah. We each have information about each other, mm -hmm. but not about anybody else. But not about the three of you. Well, I've already guaranteed you my vote. To be fair. So John's voting for me. Okay. Mm. Um, you have no back. leverage over me whatsoever. What stinks is whatever color you pick, they're gonna die either way. And you can't actually use that to choose. I mean, I, you may have only one option, but you may have... That's true. The person you could pick yourself, I guess. Is there any you, advantage to not dying? Um, if, if... I mean, uh, if, if, if you're you one of the Boros, you wouldn't want to die. Uh, if you're well, the Boros, you, you don't want to die. die. If you're uh, uh, Bolus's... I don't you know, think there's any agent. benefit of dying in general, though. Yeah, nobody wants to die. Nobody wants to be killed. Yeah. But... Winning the game right. depends on killing both of the agents of Boros. Is that yeah, you got to hit up both of them. Yeah. Yes. 
Nickel bolas. Bolas. Big nickel. Bolas. Yeah. Right. No, they're bad. They're bolas. Um, can remember. So, a vote for me is a vote for death. <laughs> Rakdos. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's chaos. So I gotta go with it. Well, I think I know who one of the agents of bolas is. So if oh, you really? vote for me, I will make sure that person dies. Well, you can't. You, 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 can, you literally can't because well, of the randomness. Yes. Well, I, there's a chance. You'll do your best. I'll do my best. Okay. You'll yeah. 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 best sure of him as well. That's a compelling argument, too. <laughs> Chaos wins. Unless he's the agent of Bolas. Oh, snap. In which case, yeah. In which case, they could well, both be. Well, then he would be, definitely know who would. What would the but, odds be if you literally both are the agents? If, yeah, whether they're both the agents oh. and, and are conspiring against the rest Everybody of us. Else. And... Then okay. All right. So uh, are we ready to vote? Yes, I'm ready to vote. Know who they're voting for? Uh, yes. Three, two, one, vote. All, All right. right. Andy, I got you get four it. votes. Okay. So I get to secretly. I am the black leader. Yep. I get to secretly choose somebody of this color to myrtleize. Myrtleize. <laughs> Okay. Oh God. And you get to write it down on our pad. I know yeah. my odds. I like that the pad is a dem it has the Demir symbol. Yes, on it. I don't know if you can see that. Actually, I'll show. Was it Demir on. one of the options in yeah. this version? No. Um, so this is this is the pad, and it's actually not just one page. Each page is several tearaway bits. So I'll just tear off the bottom of one page here, and note who <sighs> I am killing. So. All right. Options. I won't look. Okay. I'm just going to tear off the bottom of this here. Oh, that's a... Oh, oh, okay, that's cool. It's perforated. That's neat. Um, and then I will write a player's name. Okay, it starts uh, with a J, an O, an H, and an N. That is absolutely Doesn't that mean the person who would die <laughs> would be yes. you? <laughs> My odds, honestly, are I haven't seen it. We know that the black card is gone. Yep. We know that you either got blue or bl or yellow or white, mm -hmm. and we know he got the final price. Has oh been wait, I can't he be got, chosen. He got red. I can't be chosen. So somebody's gonna get to be leader twice. That's because there's one leader card left. No, yeah, no. Unless you vote for me, which I'm probably not gonna get. Because right. we know that it's leader is the red leader. Red leader. But that's the freaking rectos leader. Yeah. Where's the gruel leader? <laughs> <laughs> so the red leader. Yeah. Uh, Amanda, what does the red leader get to do? So the red leader gains the ablaze card. That card. Um, before the final round begins, they will draw the last card from the targeting deck face down and look at it. Okay. Then give a player that matches that color the ablaze card card that player will die in the final round mm. all right so this is between andy and myself my only argument is i just want to be a leader so i can have fun with the game <laughs> okay and also he probably would well, be very good, at, fire. very good at picking the right person to blaze out probably well, depending on what color plus up. andy already has control over one person's fate it's true give me control over another person's fate that, that might be true. wise since he has much knowledge. Oh, God. Um, so the final, the way the final round works, just to give everyone uh, an idea of how this is going to go. Okay. The red leader draws the last card from the targeting deck face down, gives yep. a matching color guild player the ablaze card. Start a five-minute discussion timer. We're skipping the timers. Yeah. Oh, Players yeah, okay. discuss who they think should be killed. Once time has expired, the five color leaders vote. If a player is a double leader, they only get one vote. If there's a tie, there's a vote off for players who tied. If there's still a tie, the non-leaders vote on who to kill. Okay. So if you were playing with like 10 people, that would yeah. come up. Um, the player with the most votes dies. The player that is ablaze dies. And the black leader reveals the player chosen by the ultimate price, and oh. that player dies. So we could have the three players dying. Up to three people could die, or, you know, two, because if Andy has written someone down, and you don't know, and say you had the red 
card, you could choose the same person that he's yeah. already written down. So the order goes, this will happen first, then we have the group vote? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, there's a good oh reason God. to vote for Andy then, because he knows who he, he's already killed, so he won't waste this killing the same what person again. what if we again. want him to waste that? Well, that's up to you. Yeah. That is um, true. The black leader reveals the player chosen by the ultimate price. That player dies. Players reveal all of their face down cards. If at least two agents of Bolas are dead, the Gatewatch loyalists win. Otherwise, the agents of Bolas win. Okay. Okay. Sounds pretty random. It strikes to me, me that, that five players is this game on hard mode in a yeah. certain way. Yeah, really essentially. Is. Although yeah. there's a lot more politicking, I think, in a, yeah. a higher level game. All right. So um, I we know can who vote. I'm voting for. We yeah. can vote for. Myself or Andy? Yes. And that would mean Andy gets two leaders and I don't get and a you vote. You don't get a vote in the final round. No. More votes is more fun, I think. Okay. Ready? Three, Three two, two, one. one. Vote! Oh, Yay. more <laughs> votes is more fun. Okay, okay, okay. We right. do love chaos. Oh, we yeah. do love chaos. No, we don't get to see that. No, I'm the well, only one who does. Well, it is the beginning of the final round. So, yes, John, go ahead and choose somebody of that color that you to want set to set ablaze. on fire. Okay, the player I choose has to be one of those two colors. Oh, oh you don't green. have to reveal it. Yeah, you don't have to oh, reveal it. Oh. You could have kept that secret. My mistake. Well, I didn't see it. I set myself on fire. Okay. You set yourself what? on fire? Personal Next immolation. Level. Why would self immolation? Why would you do that? Chaos reigns. That is chaos. Oh. I'm impressed. As a Rakdos on. player, so I have if, to say that's very in flavor if, for if Rakdos. He's, if he's a good guy, He's just then taken out a good guy. He's taken out a good guy, which doesn't make any sense, because then it gives more chance for the bad guys to win. But if he's a bad guy... There's a chance that his... He's by half the chance that he'll win. <laughs> Either way, it doesn't make any move. sense. Yeah, it's a very John thing to do. Okay. All right, John John's has taken, taken himself out of the game. Yeah. Now it's time for us so to all... So now everybody all right. gets to vote on who they think oh, first should we be vote. Okay. eliminated. It uh, also means that no one's no one can retaliate against him. He's already yeah. removed himself from the equation. Chaos yeah, so wins. Nobody's voting for John. Nope. That leaves four people to vote for. One of whom is already dead, possibly, or fifty percent dead, because yeah. it might be John. I love this family <laughs> politics that's about to happen, and I just get to be on the outside watching. So shall we do Wait, uh, on, the same to... as voting for leaders? Shall we do the three, two, one, and then point at the person well, we want let's, to kill? Let's discuss first and see if we can do a ballot. How do we want to yeah. do this? So let's look at it this way. If Amanda is one of the boluses, You're not. Well, that if proves it. <laughs> there you go. Then we definitely want to kill her. Um, Benny, we don't know. Me, you don't know. Notice I made sure to cover up the oh, window yeah, the and screen. everything. Playing fair. That's Who fine. is well. the gruel leader, anyway, as like a character in lore? So there's Borborygmos, who is a, um, a, a, he's a giant. Borborygmos is a medical term that means belching. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, which we love. actually got uh, supplanted yeah. by a young gruel boy. Named Domri Raid who was then killed by Nicol Bolas after he switched sides to Nicol Bolas. He served Nicol Bolas and yeah. then was killed by Bolas. He, he, was, he was a planeswalker, which are the people who can move between the planes in magic, and they're sort of the big magic users. And um, he defected to Nicol Bolas' side, and then Nicol Bolas was like, <laughs> snap. Okay. <laughs> I can see what this game is. Okay, let's go. Who are we going right. to vote for? So what's everybody's... Uh, right. uh, let's get everybody's word in edgewise why they should be not killed. Andy, why shouldn't you die? Um, I shouldn't die because I uh, have already killed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, Me? Uh, you, no, wait. Oh. I shouldn't die because I know who Dad is, and I have decided who I'm going to kill already. Amanda, why shouldn't you die? Because I'm loyal. Okay. I'm I'm loyal to the gate watch. Okay. Benny can vouch for me. Benny. I think that Andy has written down to kill a blue player. It could be me. I could already be dying anyway. So you should vote for somebody else cuz I'm going to maybe 50% chance die. And David, there'd be you'd be wasting your vote if you vote to kill me. Okay. So Does I'm gonna. Everybody have an idea who they're gonna <laughs> vote to off the island. Yes. Hands in the air. 
wave them like you just don't care. Three, two, one, vote. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Wait, so who's pointing at who? Okay. John's not voting. He's abstaining. He's dead. Well, because I'm dead. It's two votes against. Well, you get Reddit. to vote. You're I leader. get to vote. Yeah. You're a red leader. But so I'm dead. I thought, right? No. You die at the end. You of die at the end. The the person with the oh. ablaze card dies at the end, but you still get a vote. Oh. I didn't realize that. So right now we have um, two votes for Benny, mm -hmm. one vote for me, and one, one vote, vote for Amanda. Amanda. Should I vote? I think you should. I, I mean, it's interesting to vote after. Well, I don't know. What I, I thought I didn't get a vote because I thought I literally got eliminated. At that Do you point. want to create a tie is the thing. I, because right now there's two votes for Benny. One uh, vote for me, one vote for Andy. So oh, I'll yeah, make a tie. Create a I'll tie make the and tie. Then someone will break it. Uh, there. All okay, right. so there's a re-vote now. Wait, re so that's a, well, wait, wait, so but that's a green it, tie. Oh. oh. Wait, how does this work? So the tie is between... Andy, you know, Benny, and Andy. Is like, if you're choosing green leader, you get to break yeah. it. Oh. Uh, no, if there if there's a tie, there is a vote off for the players who tied. So, so it's now, now it's between Amanda. me and Andy. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. So now we only have me and Amanda as options for killing. No, right. I, thought, I thought Benny was the one who had two votes. Benny had. Oh, right. It's it was Benny and Andy. Andy. And Andy, and Andy, and Andy. Two votes. Okay. Okay. So we get so, to vote for either Andy or okay. Benny. I'm still on right. fire, I guess. Yes, you are still on fire. Okay. But you can so vote with, with your flaming So with the information that I have gleaned throughout the game, I'm still going to vote to kill Benny. Anybody may join me in my vote. I was already voting to kill Benny. Three, two, two one, one, vote. Vote. What the heck? All right, two. it's a sec No, it's no, three to it's two. No, three to two. Yeah. Three, to three to two. Benny is going to die. Okay. okay. All right, now. Now. I, somebody is set ablaze. All John. right, yes. so the player who is dead. set ablaze dies. Yep. Yep. So John is dead. I reveal oh, why don't, wait a second. Why don't you reveal your card now so we'll know who died? It, it actually it says we reveal it after the black leader oh, okay. reveals the okay. player so chosen by the ultimate okay. price. As black leader, I chose to have Amanda pay the ultimate price. Fine. So now I have killed well, Your color Amanda was blue? What was your color? Blue? It was blue. Okay. Amanda, hmm. Benny, and John are dead. So only you and I are left. Yes. I yeah. believe that is correct. And so we so reveal, now let's see. reveal our roles. We win. All right. Agent of Bolas. Mm -hmm. My card so was one green. agent of Bolas. Um, so I killed? would have had to choose between the two of us. Yeah. Yeah. So these are the two guys. Yeah, yeah. We both yeah. died. So I was John convinced you were himself. Again. Well, yeah, because I had green. It was either me or him. Oh. <laughs> I figured. I figured it was Benny. Who I figured Benny was a, a, a not a loyalist uh -huh. when she wouldn't vouch for me. Oh. <laughs> So oh, I she's, didn't throwing, think about... she's throwing it on me. <laughs> I actually also didn't really. He said, Benny can vouch for me. And you so said nothing. So, yeah, that's true. I was like, ooh, ooh, she's an agent. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show, yeah, some, show of some of the art, art because it's very so cool. So, I'm a Gatewatch loyalist. I like that the I agents really are doing her characters who are Watch. actually agents. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I was, uh, I was Teferi. Amanda was Teferi. Who did I get? His oath. Raska. From. She is a Golgari okay. uh, planeswalker, and she's a she's a um, she's a, a Gorgon, and she's a really interesting character because she actually is not loyal to Bolus, but Dad was Jace. Jace took her memory away so that she could be a sleeper agent. Oh, okay. So, Dad, you watched some of yeah. our D and D campaign. Yeah, I remember Jace. Yeah, was my description of him, did you recognize him nope. when you saw him? No, oh, <laughs> not at all. His tattoos all over his face. And... Uh, no, nope. face tattoos. Was, or, I'm sorry, Benny was Tezzeret. Okay. Oh, Tezzy. Tezzy, bad daddy. Ugh, Tezzy. Uh, and then there's other agents in the box, because obviously there's Up to five ten. of each. So is Domri in there? Or no, it's not five of each? You said you just needed five of each, it's not but five and five. it might be like three and seven total. Yeah. Some sort of uh, let's no. look at the other options. Boo. So, God, why'd you vote for me? Yeah, I was yeah, surprised. Well, why did you pick well, her? I knew that dad and I they knew they were, were noble. good guys, we had seen each other's cards. See, I, I kind of figured that the two of you were my and were, John had were, already might killed be himself. two of or my, no, he hadn't my killed allies. Himself. Yeah, no, by the time you had written it down, you had I hadn't killed myself. Yeah. But you Anyways. figure one or both of us could have been. 
I'm not sure that there was enough uh, logic oh, to support the blue. decisions yeah. that were made. No, my it was hard to. So my target the only thing was I support blue, was so I I'm glad yeah. I didn't kill yeah. my teammate. That's no, all. I knew that your target was blue, and so I was How like, did you know my target was blue? Process of process elimination. Process of elimination. Yeah. Yeah. I she had her had card black. I knew white. She had seen her own. And then I knew that his was red because I knew that... He looked at you. And I knew that mine was... White. What? No, I knew that hers was already black. So if he chose you, it had to be red. Okay. What right. stinks is... I, I can't keep track. I need to have a little pad of paper yeah. here yeah. and be writing all this down. Because if I had black and I... Yeah. All right, so there are two more agents of Bolas, okay. three more gate watch. So the the three other gate watch are Ajani, Ajani, Chandra, he's a big kid. Chandra, and Gideon. Gideon. Oh, Chad. Poor Gideon. My friend Chad. It's fun to be with. Agents. The remaining two agents of Bolas are Domri. Of From course. the uh, Gruel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's Domri. That's Domri. Little upstart. And uh, Dovin. Uh, yeah, that's right. Dovin Bond went for for Bolas. What an idiot. <laughs> Who is Dovin Bond's house? Dovin Bond is a Vidalcan, and he's a Zorius. Is, oh. is he, is it? I uh, thought he was a Zorius. No, maybe you're right. Maybe he is a Zorius. Because he's got a big stick up his butt. White, red? <laughs> uh, blue, uh, blue, blue, white. white. So we don't need to keep these in any order. We can just put them back in the box. We should, we should put all Separate the leaders the together. Okay. We should put all the targets together. Leader. Leader. Guild. Uh, I feel like target. more Guild role. having more people yeah. in the game the would make keep for some more interesting interactions. Most definitely. Um, the randomiz randomization aspect of it is a little weird for me. Um, and <laughs> having it sort of, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to, you know what? I would have to play this a couple more times to really feel like whether it's cards? too random uh, or whether the randomness like ends up being offset by logic. It's certainly an interesting game though. Yeah. yeah. I think it depends on how it plays out. Like I thought it was a little, it created a weird dynamic that we were both agents of Bolas and we were both green. Yeah. Mm. And you drew, you drew the green thing, so you had yeah. to choose between the two of us to emulate. Yep. Yeah, that was bizarre. I, I actually didn't even think of that. I thought it was just yeah. John being John. Telling it's a good I, cover. I did think maybe if, my thinking was if he's an agent, then he's saved the other agent. Yeah because it's entirely possible that Andy has written his name down. Yeah. So if he kills himself and he's an agent, he has saved, you know, the, the other, other agent in, in, in potential from, from being immolated. It so. was the only play I thought I had. Yeah. Well, that was... No, given the situation, it was a good call. Okay. An interesting and it was confusing to the rest of us, so... Game. Perfect. All right. <laughs> weird game. Good way to write it down. Yeah. All right, so... Uh, it's fairly early. It's only eight. We could play We're like just three. desserts or something like that. Just was desserts was fun. Was that uh, quick? I don't remember. That's yeah, just quick. desserts is pretty quick. They were all quick. I'm gonna start with. Yeah, that was when we had Jules on stream and we played like five games in one night. Yeah, we played. Right, we played that kitty game. game. Yeah. Seven colors. Seven red seven. Red seven. That's right. Uh, what else was there? Oh, the car game. You guys it's two to five players. Play. Perfect. So, Perfect. Perfect. Someone else figure out how to play and tell me how to do it. Yeah, you guys have played it before, so you guys give us yeah. Oh, I got no Concepts. Names. Set up. Example favorites and tips. Discard phase. Okay. Good. Yep. Excellent. You've mastered it. Oh, nice shoes. Da -da -da -da. Thank you. Nice Today nails. was the last the day, day of our. Oh yeah, my nails are like day glow. So, we, um, first we have to so uh, this set up. was the summer summer reading Dex. theme. It was a universe of stories. Uh, we separate and, them into um, guests, and guests and desserts. I have the guests These over here. Desserts. Here, have some more desserts. Okay. Shuffle up the desserts. Um, make sure they're all desserts. Yeah, today oh. was the last day for our summer reading program, so I, I wore my summer reading shirt and my fancy spacey sneakers. Why do you own space sneakers? Oh. Um, well, I mean, why wouldn't I own space sneakers? I don't know how many space sneakers. Um, Let me see those space sneakers. I need space sneakers. All the, I work in a children's library, so... You can't really see them. Like, having space sneakers is kind of... 
a requirement. Sneakers for spring. Yeah. So I actually um, I follow a blog online called the Startorialist, and they post like all sorts of space themed clothing. And they had posted these sneakers, um, and I was like, oh, those are amazing. There are a lot of cards in here. And I kind of need them in my life. Mm -hmm. I, I, especially with I the summer's summer reading theme coming up. And so I looked them up. They are Katy Perry sneakers. Um, and I normally wouldn't care, but they were last seasons. <laughs> and they had <laughs> one pair left in my size. There you go. And they were on sale. <laughs> so I got them for like uh, okay. 20% uh, off. Desserts? Or I was like, yes. Sure. You know what? Okay. I am willing. I wouldn't have been willing Everybody to pay full price, but I'll pay desserts. sale price for them. And they came in and they were a little stiff, but that's okay. And kids love them. Oh, I bet they do. I, for, also. for a similar reason, I own a pair of um, uh, unicorn sneakers that have an actual horn that comes out of the front. And <laughs> it's really quick. Motor. I just want to show this off. A coworker had or, bought or and then was like, I'm never going to wear secret. these. Those are great. Uh, just real quick, I want to show off for the, the uh, bargain quest thing. Everyone gets their own player shop board. That's adorable. But here's the coolest thing. <gasps> I'll open up. Open up it's the, the interior of the shop. That's really good. Yeah, this is where you keep we'll all your upgrades We'll definitely have to play that. It's up to six, yeah, maybe sometime in the future. Yeah. Well, yeah. I uh, just like that as a cute little design. Very yeah. wise. Very so nice. we have to put out the guests, right, Andy? Right. So, so that everybody knows how this game works. Guests want desserts. Yes, they do. Here's want Wally. Wally. He's um. of the rolling pin suit. There's uh, six different colors of guests, six different suits. You want to um, get different ones. Or nope. three of a kind. Yep. So the ob object of the game is to have three of a kind or five different guests. The way you earn guests is by giving them the desserts that they want. So on your turn, you're going to draw a dessert, and then you're going to attempt to lure guests to you by so playing desserts. Your dessert and these shop. are the ingredients that he likes? Yes, and you can play a combo of those yep. from all the cards and in your hand. So we have like two cards and two of them. It's like his favorite dessert. Oh, and this has little pictures of ingredients yeah. on it. Some characters are physically revolted by some foods. And some don't have that. So uh, if they have the X across it, that means you can't use a card with that ingredient on it to claim that character. Yeah. Um, so, how many do we start with as unclaimed? Uh, we should have three unclaimed guests. Okay. That's so a dessert. in addition, that's a dessert. Well, that's, that was cake. Yep. Delicious cake. It'd be a shame if that was Wally's favorite. In addition to Wally, we have the tourist. I can actually go to over here. He likes oh, black forest cake. Who likes? She also likes chocolate and cake and an apple. My and Wally likes a cookie and fruit. chocolate and a black peanut. forest cake. cake. And we got one more. I choose you. All right. Uh, Delicious cake. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. I'm doing a thing. What's everybody's favorite we can, dessert? We can come up with one more guest, right? I Three had guests? a dessert today. Yes, oh. Okay, here's the what next. What was it? It oh, was yes. vegan key lime pie. Key lime Very nice. Great. Key slime pie. Speaking of which, we got Miss Jenkins. Miss Jenkins. Jenkins, who likes chocolate cake also, and peanuts also, plus veggies. And her favorite is zucchini nut bread. Oh, zucchini nut bread's good. Um, one of my dessert cards has a little um, icon on it of a measuring cup. What does that mean? Measuring cup. Uh, I think it's like spices or something. No, 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 it's different than that. Uh, the icons are... Uh, mm. I'm going to reshuffle no, these. That. No? No, I'm telling you it's a different thing. Turn it over. It's this. What does this say? Oh, Fav yeah, that's the soup. Right. Favorites so, and yes. pudding. Oh, that's a soup. Mrs. Jenkins oh, yeah. is red of the mixing suit. Wally is purple of the uh, rolling pin. And the tourist is orange of the oven, oven, oven mitt set. So remember, uh, your objective is to get either three of a kind or five different, oh. and then you win the game. This symbol just says that it is the favorite of a guest. Right. Of that certain suit. Yeah. Um, okay. So during your turn, you're yeah, going there's to someone draw in that a card suit who really likes that. And then do one of three things: either satisfy up to two guests, 
go back to the kitchen to draw an extra card, or dump your tray, discard as many cards from your hand as you choose, and draw back that many cards. Okay. But then you don't get to play after that? Or do you get to play with the new cards you've drawn? You don't get to play if you yep. dump your tray. It's one of three things. Either satisfy guests, get more stuff, for, get, draw an extra card, or discard and redraw. All right. And if I play a dessert that satisfies one of these ingredients, that works? You have to satisfy all three to claim the guest. Yes. Unless it's their favorite card, then you can just play that card and you get the guest automatically. Okay, but well you said I have to play a card that satisfies two guests. You need up, to. up to two guests. Oh. Yes. So the the dessert that I play has to have all three of these on it in order to work. Or a combination. Uh, you can play you, two cards that have all those symbols together. If you serve somebody their favorite, not only do you get the guest, but you get an extra dessert card. I still don't know how even to like satisfy somebody. Can you explain that again? Uh, so say you have two cards, and one of them has a marshmallow and a carrots, and the other one has nuts and cake. You can play them both to fulfill that requirement. So it has cake and nuts and carrots. Yes. yes. You just Between have to play a combo cards. of those cards. Got it. So I can play. So if you play a card that has that satisfies two guests, but it doesn't win any guests, it just sits out there. No, you, you don't play, you don't play it. Yeah. If if you can't satisfy a guest, you either draw or okay, discard and draw more. All right. Um, uh, what is the first player marker? Well, wait a moment. If at the end of your turn there are any guests with duplicate suits, remove guests until there is at most one guest of each suit. So we can only have one of each suit at the end of your turn. Uh, the most recently departed guest, i.e. the one that's on top of the discard pile, is standing in the doorway. This guest is also eligible to be served. So if you leave somebody on top of the discard pile, somebody else can still grab them. If they're there. If they're there. Okay. okay. Pretty simple game. Does everybody yeah, have a general idea of how it works? Yes. The first player is the person to have most recently served dessert. Served dessert. Served. Oh, we had brownies last night. Yeah? Yeah. I, I think that qualifies I didn't give you. anyone candy today, so. Okay. I didn't give anybody dessert. Okay, John, right, you're first John. player. I draw, draw the top card. guest. Yeah, no, you yep, draw, yep. Oh, oh. You draw a card. A draw dessert. a card. Yeah. And then on can your I? turn, draw the top card from the dessert deck and add it to your hand. Okay. Then turn up the next card on the guest deck. Ah. Our next guest is... Mandarin cup lady. The professor. Oh, they cannot have chocolate, but they want apples and cake. Okay. Okay, so uh, I can fulfill I two requirements, idea. correct? Up to two. Up to, up to two guests. One up brownies get me Wally. All right, yeah. He's very Wally. happy. Wally. Wally. And then I will And that play. gets you an extra dessert card. Yes. yes. Uh, should I wait until I fulfill my other guest, or should uh, I... Each guest has a suit. Blah, 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 blah. Anytime you serve a guest their favorite, you immediately gain a tip. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to play. Uh, mm, apple uh, asprosa salad and a donut cake with sprinkles to grab the professor because none of it has chocolate. There's no chocolate in apple and a cake. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes. You get the professor. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, no, you my get turn. another card. Doesn't he get another card? Uh, that wasn't no, the favorite. No, do the favorite. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. All right. And do we need to fill this out? Uh, I do on my turn. Okay. Yeah. So, at the beginning of my turn, I reveal the emperor. Oh, my God. That's one of, that's one of the loonies. Dressed as Emperor Norton. Yep. Uh, he cannot have fruit uh, or vegetables. Suit. Yeah, he does not want fruit or veg, and he does want chocolate and cake. He will have devil fruit cake, or he will have angel food cake. Devil chocolate food angel food cake or chocolate angel food cake. I thought those were the same thing. Mm -hmm. No, chocolate angel's food cake is very different. What's devil's food cake? It's like a really rich chocolate cake. Oh. And chocolate angel food cake is angel food cake, right. but chocolate. Oh. I see, I see. Well, now I Which at some yeah, point I will make, I but I can't, I can't make an angel food cake vegan, I'm sorry. No, you can't. <laughs> well, you, I, I bet looked there's up some ways. creepy scientist who can do it. I've looked up um, egg replacement to do it, and the problem is you never get the volume. Mm. 
none of the egg replacements build the volume the in the way oh. that the egg I'm gonna feed him cake and nuts and I went looking it up for chocolate. you. <laughs> which gives him was like, chocolate. Cake and chocolate. Because I make a very good chocolate. You just get extra cake. cookies and nuts. Would you be able to make a thin one and He's then so happy. layer it like a... Okay, uh, and I do not I have any in my hand to feed somebody else. I just haven't worked right. with egg replacers. But now you're so down to two cards, is that right? I would that have to yes. experiment I'm with it. I also need cards. to try making it gluten free because it uses flour, and heavier flours can make it fall. So I have to experiment because I have a friend who needs to do gluten free. And um, I want to be able to make chocolate What's the heaviest cake flour? Because it's her. It's her only chocolate cake that she likes. Okay. Oh, she's made her own life difficult in that. So. <laughs> All right, Amanda. Yep, you get another dessert. And we got a new guest. The next guest. The next yeah. guest is of the chef's hat. Ah, uh, the, the dude. He likes chocolate apples and uh, marshmallows. And his favorite is chocolate fondue. That's fitting for those kind of things. The dude abides. I like how he's drinking. Uh, the cards are spectacularly yeah. unhelpful. Well, you could discard oh, no, all four cards and draw four new cards. Uh, it, it's his. Uh, uh, what are they called? White Russians. Yeah. How about that movie? It is a fun movie. I remember when we played this last. We were all like, "I want dessert now." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just drawing another card because I have I. I ate a ton of pizza before we started the stream, so. I had my burrito. And the new guest is. <gasps> it's another yellow! The lumberjack. Which means one of those two has to go. She wants ice cream and cookies, but no nuts. And so. She can't who, have nuts. Who decides who goes? Uh, you will. If uh, one of those has not been. If you don't buy one of those, oh. or both of them, one of them will leave. Okay, at the end of my turn. Yes. Okay. I need five different colors to win. I wish Pi was in chat. Yeah. Yeah. She probably. Mm -hmm. She's got reasons. So John already has two suits, and the three other he needs are out there right now. Question is, do I have the cards I, I have need? The Emperor Norton. Well, that's a good card. He's got yeah. all the flair. I don't want to talk about my. <laughs> I actually said that at one point at work because they were trying to convince us to wear like name tags on lanyards instead of little badges uh, and um, I didn't really want to wear a lanyard for a bunch of reasons one okay. because my turn is over I know uh, you get to eliminate one of these two myself you can either kick off the dude or the lumberjack or lumberjane as she might be I don't know but um they were trying to get us to it, and they were like, you could put flair on it. And I was like, I don't like talking about my flair. And no one got the joke. No one realized I was referencing something. You're so the dude by yeah. Now, of course, I have a lanyard full He's of the out, No, not in, in the outside. Yeah, he's yeah. in the door. He's in the door. Right. He's still available. It's your okay. turn, Dave. No. I, I draw a card yes. first. <laughs> draw a card. And, and I don't gonna, have to tell you what my card is. No, and you got a new have guest. To a new guest. Oh, new guest, guest is, is Orange of the Oven Mitt Clan, Mr. Healthy. No, Mr. Healthy. Who he likes loves pumpkin pie. Pie no. and veggies. Yeah, pie and veggies, but no chocolate for him. He wants no chocolate. And his favorite is pumpkin pie. Chocolate's very good for you. Yeah, it that's. Is. I don't think that that's unhealthy. Dark chocolate's really good. And to, to claim somebody, you have to have all three or all two of their Yes. yes. Their but you can you put down multiple really cards to, like... Hence yes. why I haven't claimed anyone. <laughs> yep. I want I got those cards. All right. I get to you draw a new got card. got two oven mitt guys. Yep. And so you may one eliminate one of them. Now depart. And we'll bury the dude. No, the dude abides. You Mr. Healthy... We hardly knew ye. I draw a card. And our new guest is the little girl. Oh, she wants cake and ice cream, but no vegetables. I got the ice cream cake. Yay. Oh, wow. Her right you're, away. you're getting all the tips. Yeah, seriously. I get a new card. Wow. John, I think, is in <laughs> a really good position here. Oh, my gosh. Um, what do they want? These things. Uh, okay, I fulfill this one too. I've got chocolate, chocolate sandwich cookies and vanilla ice cream, which 
No nuts. No yep. nuts. Yep. There we go. Okay, he is basically, if he can get oh one goodness. more color, mm -hmm. he wins. This is. Okay. That's yeah. the end of my turn. Okay. I draw a card. I only have one card though now. I reveal the next person. Mojo. Mojo. Oh God, Big Mojo. Alaska, and he wants all kinds of stuff. He wants four different varieties. He wants apple yeah. cake, ice cream, or yeah, apple cake, ice cream, and chocolate. Mm. The only one that John really wants is the tourist at this point. Uh, oh, no, yeah. Mrs. Jenkins. No, no, no. I have red already. Oh, you already have okay. Well, uh, unless I'm you want to go for three of a kind. That's so we're, true. We're trying, so we, we want to block John. <laughs> no! I don't like that kind of game think. Uh, but still, there are six colors. There's still green as an option later mm. and orange. But we're, the yeah. rest of us are nowhere near you, which I is know. why I'm saying we could well, block who's, who's you in turn. order to turn. stave off death. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm okay with the things happening currently. Yeah. I don't have anyone, and you have four. Yes. I know. So <laughs> no, I'm referencing the uh, what's this little cartoon? This is fine. Oh uh, uh, yeah. The little dog. This is fine. <laughs> but you're not on. They, you're not on fire. I am not. The people to say this is fine <laughs> while He's being on, on fire, fire <laughs> is not you. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna you're in the lead. spend two cards <laughs> to satisfy the tourist. Chocolate, cake. And apple. an apple. That's not cake. That's not cake. That's, that's pie. pie. Yeah, that's oh, pie. Crap. Take it back. Take it I all back. My whole freaking hand. Oh my <laughs> god! To get the tourist. So I, I'm giving him coffee cake, hot fudge sundae, and apple pie a la mode. <laughs> oh, he better okay. join me. Oh my god, Andy. <laughs> okay. Now I have no cards in hand. I'm not in a good position. Amanda, okay. it is your turn. Get a card. <sighs> And we got the new and guest. The next guest is Mary Ann. What she want? She Peanuts, wants nothing yep, else custard got. or something and pie. Cookie. What is it? What's her favorite? Coconut custard pie. Oh, Coconut custard I pie. I can't help. I can't get anything. I've got like six dessert cards and none of them match anything that's out there. So, wow. Like. Well, you can have another one. That's yeah. What you did last hooray, round. Yeah, that's what I did last round. Eventually, it will pay, pay off. No, but it's you can dump all six and take no, six. That's all right. Mr. Healthy. I don't have anything okay. to give him either. Uh, believe me, I would love to get a card. Don't you think <laughs> if you had six different cards, you'd have a better shot? That's probably what I'm doing, except that I have to wait until then the next round. Then you have to round. wait until the next round, and yeah. by that time, it could be all different well, people. Either way. So. Yeah, that's true. Discarding six, drawing six. But now I don't uh, get to pick someone, and... One of those two gets to go. Yeah. All right. All right, Benny. Benny, you are up. Yeah. Mr. Mojo is difficult because he takes four things. Yes. I guess that makes Ooh. it easy. Now we have the little boy. He wants chocolate, milk, and cookie. Or no, I'm sorry, chocolate, uh, marshmallows, marshmallows, and cookies. Cookie, and he likes s'mores. S'mores! Okay, so I'm going to play the coconut custard pie, which is the favorite of Marianne. Okay, nice. you get Marianne. Yep. You get a tip. Cool. And you can get another character if you can. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Healthy is back. Mr. Healthy is back. Good for him. Yes. <laughs> Good for John. No, don't say it. <laughs> but uh, the little One boy the or red, Mrs. Yeah. Jenkins could, if, if Benny doesn't buy the little boy or Mrs. Jenkins, one of those is going to cover up Mr. Healthy. Jeez. But maybe he's got his one card can win one of those, and he can go for three of a kind. He could, but he's not going to win this round if he does that. Mm. <laughs> Unless he's incredibly lucky and draws the favorite dessert of two different people. I did it last round. Yeah. That's what happened. That's how I got this card so fast. I drew her card. Top decking for the win. Chaos. It yeah. rewards. Then he is thinking... Speaking of which, there's a game I wanted to bring up to you guys that I backed off Kickstarter else. a little bit. Okay, it's got Benny a Order up. Clan and My a turn. Chaos oh, Clan out of eight clans. To... Yeah, I wanted you guys to see this because it also has Insorts by Game Trays. Oh, cool. So I'll show you that guy later. Mrs. Jenkins is now in the doorway. Okay. I am drawing a card. And who's the new guest? The new guest? Well, please welcome... Roland. Roland. The Headless Thompson Gunner. What? <laughs> uh, 
Who likes whatever that Spice is. Spice and those things. pumpkin. And pie. And or pie. no, fritters. Some kind of O. Oh. That's fritters. It's something fritters. fried. And what's his favorite? Caramel apple? Cinnamon no, he's roll. no apple. Cinnamon roll. And a, a and spice. innocent cinnamon roll. Okay, well, cinnamon roll says, cinnamon hello, Roland. Oh. Hey, you get the card, which means you draw a new dessert. And you can get another guest now if you can fit the requirements. Now, let me see what I can do with these guys. Sorry, Andy. Well, that was a good move on Dad's part because if John had gotten Roland, he would have won. But I didn't have the cinnamon roll. That's true, because John had the cinnamon. Uh, Dad had the cinnamon roll. I had the old cinnamon roll. So we're looking at baked Alaska or s'mores, and we're looking at chocolate cookie and marshmallow, <coughs> and chocolate ice, chocolate ice cream cake and apple. Right. Yes, he loves his dessert. Mojo. Mojo. I think so Mojo I was Jill's favorite. Is that chocolate, right? Chocolate, ice cream, apple. Wow. Okay. Not so bad. You just and need. Just wait a minute. Cake. 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 And wait a minute. That's it. Yeah. That's yeah. All you that's need. all four. That's all you need for Mr. Mojo. That's, right. that's all you can get. Because you can yeah, only get two. You can only get two. Oh, you can only get two. Yeah. Yeah. You can only get two characters total for a turn. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Hello, Mr. Go. Mojo. Nicely done. Yay. All right, my turn. I draw a card. Thank you. The next guest is a green one. Inga. Oh. She wants uh, ice cream, chocolate, and cookies, or an ice cream sandwich. <clears throat> I'll draw a dessert card. Okay. And I'll end my turn there. My turn. I get a dessert card. Yay, I've got a card. Oh, God. Uh, and then a guest shows up. It is Nature Girl. She oh, wants spices. spices, veggies, and apple. Yep. What kind of dessert is that? Oh, and she a has, I, she, she doesn't have a favorite. She decide on a favorite, so she has no favorite. Mm. It's because there's no dessert that meets those criteria. Well, no, I guess. She also apparently has, she has friendly bar. badgers. And birds living on her head. They're okay. all the animals. She's Radagast. Yeah, basically. Oh, America. God. Wait, did you not draw a card? Did oh, you get oh, to draw? I get to He's do a, a thing. Hang on. What is yeah. it? So I don't have any. It's a honey badger. I can buy, so I will draw a card. Honey badgers don't give a fuck. <laughs> Watch your language. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you I don't even remember that's the guests in stream that could be listening. I know. To all those youngins. We're going to have to get a sure After right 9 o'clock at night. That's but true. somebody could be watching the VOD on YouTube. Oh, hey, sure. guess who still doesn't have anything? No. Well, you still have access uh, to the, let's, Ms. Let's Jenkins? Who the hippie is. Guess who still doesn't have anything? The likes no. either Neapolitan <laughs> ice cream or The sad split. part being, and she's the not. cards I discarded would have helped. Yeah. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's the risk. So. Okay, your turn, Benny. Well, no, well, no, no, right. I'm, up to, I'm, up, I'm up to seven cards in hand, and I am missing key Something components to everything. Wow. Yeah. So you get to, you get to discard one. Well, she, she gets to draw a card. She just did. Or discard her I drew a card. Oh, you and you get card. to choose between I get to these. decide if I want to draw an extra card, which I could do. Yep. I'm going to. Sure, okay. why not? Yeah. Maybe it's the one that's going to. It's not. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of Nature Girl. Okay, Nature, Nature Girl. Nature Girl, no. She's in the doorway. Yeah. Benny. Benny. Let's see. Do you get a dessert? Yes, oh, you yeah. do. And you got a new guest. The new guest is. Purple. The arist the, the astronaut. astronaut. Can you say and the aristocrat? <laughs> almost did. The really? aristocrats. Uh, the <laughs> astronaut <laughs> wants uh, chocolate and cookies, but no peanut butter. She'll accept chocolate chip cookies or chocolate sandwich cookies as oh her favorite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Got the. Ice cream sandwich. Oh, that gets you uh, uh, Inga. No. Oh, Inga. No, no, no. You get Inga. And you draw a new dessert card. Yep. Yeah, so that goes there. There you go. This goes here. It's kind of unappetizing. And, and do you have enough to get a second person? Okay, I'm hoping I do. Let's see what's going on over here. It's a very cute game. The art's really adorable. And the stereotypes. 
<laughs> so I want to say that is Kirsten Looney. Yes, oh, that is hippie? definitely Kristen Looney. Okay. I have met her. <laughs> Down to the, the matching tie-dyed kerchief and shirt. Wow. And I'm going to go with chocolate mousse plus lemon cool. cookie squares to get mm. the astronaut. Okay. There's no nuts in that? No nuts. No nuts. Hi. Hey, Pi! Hey, Pi! Hi, Pi! All right. Well, I was going to experiment. Pi, do you know if the uh, the bit thing is still happening? Uh, I'm back. And thank you for the 100 bits. That's fantastic. <sighs> We're playing the game that you introduced us to. Yes. Thank you very much for introducing it. It's adorable. It's I'm right. enjoying it's it, even though turn, I have correct? no cards. Yeah, because I... And you finished your turn. There's nothing else I have to do, right? I just yes, play you, are, you bought two he characters. Yay! I, I got an emote! Emotes. Good! I gave emotes away with 200 bits. Wicked. What is this? It looks like a scream. It's a, it's a fighting soda. Oh, I love soda. Soda. Okay. Okay. Why? Oh, wait. You're drawing pile. from the wrong pile. You draw that. You I'm get a new guest. Secret card. Our new, new guest, guest is. Green guest. Fuzzy. He wasn't a bear. Fuzzy he wants Wuzzy. Peanut butter. Peanuts cups. and chocolate. And he but likes no peanut. marshmallows. No marshmallows for him. Nope. John mm. has yeah. three cards in hand right now. Three cards, yep. And four different suits? Yep. So if John gets Fuzzy or Nature Girl, he wins. Right? Nature Girl or the Hippie. Oh man, you've got so many options. I don't know. I don't know. So Pi, for our first game this week, we played uh, Ravnica Inquisition. Yes. Which was very interesting. It is a uh, magic themed uh, game of deductions and betrayal. What you got? Neapolitan. There okay. you go. And you get a draw a card. Draw a card. So now there's Fuzzy, Nature Girl, and the Little Boy. Yeah. Little Boy. And Nature Girl doesn't have a favorite. Makes it difficult. Yeah. yeah she wants spices, apples, and uh, vegetables. vegetables. Weird combo. Let's see, I think I will go for... Uh, not quite cool insidious pie. Uh, More werewolfish. It's sort of werewolfish. It's interesting. All right, you got the little boy. Okay. All right. Setting Dad up for the win now. All right, my go. Yes, John. Tell me the card. And our next visitor is Candice. She is purple of the uh, Rolling Pin Clan. She wants <laughs> vegetables and uh, marshmallows, but candied no yams. chocolates. She loves those candied yams. Candied yams. Hey, guess what? Those candied yams are in the discard pile. <laughs> of course. You discarded them. Candied yep. yams are dead. dessert. They're candied. All right. I'm going to draw another dessert card. Oh, okay. And now it's Andy's turn. It's my turn. Draw. We've got a new visitor. Next visitor is Bob Fruitcake. Bob or B Bob Fruitcake. Does he like fruitcake? Yes, he does. Okay. Apples, cake, and nuts. Okay. So I need green or He's orange. A thematically appropriate you sweater. need purple or purple or yellow. Those are the two you need. Nah. What? My hand is not helping me. Um, I'm just gonna draw a card, I guess. Amanda. So we have to. Oh yeah. Who oh, do yeah. you who send do you vote off the away. island? Send to the the um, Get rid of the. Do I do that before I draw? I, no, we, it's, it's after I draw, so yep. I do get to look at this card when I decide. Aha. Aha. Okay. All right. So I'm going to send. Candice. Yeah. Okay. She's still in the doorway. All right. Amanda, you get another dessert. Thank goodness. And our next visitor is. Oh, 
Boston guy. Boston guy. The Boston guy. Boston cream pie. And yeah, or four. you can win him with cake. Holy crap. Yeah. Yay. Yay. I actually had that in you my mountain dessert. of cards. You got another right, dessert. So you get another dessert. Do you have something for fuzzy Bob fruitcake or Candace? Sadly, no. Mm -hmm. I'm missing a key component for both of them. Oh. Um, who I have she wants things. vegetables and marshmallows. Nope, sure don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Alright. Benny. Who's the new All guest? Right. Yellow. Oh no. <laughs> he might the get hermit. this one. Chocolate. Whatever those crispy squares are. Fritters. Fritters, yeah. And it he likes the chocolate eclair. The chocolate eclair. Oh! oh. Benny's up to four. Cream fritter. Yep. Alright. I thought John was gonna win this rounds ago, but Benny yeah. has a chance. Wait, 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 Dad. She, she I get another one. Person. Hold your horses. You could either get Candice, Fruit Candace, Cake Bob, Bob, or Fuzzy. But only Fuzzy really helps you. Oh, no, no, I mean, no neither could, of them yeah, win her. She could be going game. for three of a kind. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. I don't even like Boston cream pie, and I want Boston cream pie now. Boston cream yeah. pie is highly overrated. I don't, I don't see the appeal. The cherry in the middle. It's not my thing. I might as well get fruit cake. Yeah, I like pastry. Bob. It's, uh, it's oh, you like, got Bob. Since yeah. I am there. And you get another dessert. Oh, thank God. All right. All right, that. you're up, sir. Oh, well. That. Let's see what we got. Our next guest is... Red. Agent 17. He cannot have nuts. No nuts for see, him. Custard for me is one of those things where like, it has Belgian to be really waffle. good custard. And it has to be in exactly the right ratio to other things. He likes peanut butter cups. That's nice. But he can't have marshmallows. Or, yeah, because they get in his beard. They make his beard sticky. Yeah, you can see that would be a problem. Um, I have a mountain of cards right now, Pi, and uh, none of them are helpful. I believe I must do this to you, John. <laughs> to me? You gonna get fuzzy? It's not a comic. <laughs> get fuzzy? Yeah. Get fuzzy. Chocolate. Ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get fuzzy. Uh, yeah. No marshmallows. All right. So Dad took two cards. Yeah. Is that it? Oh, I, uh, do I get a, I get a tip for oh, picking him up? Yeah. Right. No, no, only, only if, if you get the favorite. favorite. Got it. Okay. Okay, John. Our final guest. Oh, Granny. God. Oh, it's Granny. What does she oh, want? Granny. She loves apple pie a la mode. Apple, cake, and ice cream. Why isn't apple pie in ice cream? Uh, okay. Gameplay. Apple, cake, and ice cream I can do. Bingo. So what happens if the deck runs out? Yeah. You can shuffle the other the guests. guests. Yeah. Thank you. I guess you have to shuffle the remaining guests. Get another crack at them. Do you or want anybody else? So Candace stays in the door. In the door. And the rest get shuffled. Everybody else, all four of them, get shuffled. Everybody's got. Wait, a lot what of happens guests. if there's not enough guests left? I don't know. Can I see the thing? Yeah. Well, it could be a fun game, I think. What's the tiebreaker, Pi? Yeah. You've played this. Is the tiebreaker the person who offers to make dessert for everyone? Is it John's turn? No, I just got the, the old your woman. Turn. It's your turn. My turn. Okay, yeah. so I get a dessert. You go ahead, do you do. And I'll figure it out. Is yes, yes, one yes. Of our previous Whenever guests, either deck runs out, Jenkins the discard back. pile is shuffled and drawn anew. When reshuffling the guests, start a new discard pile using yeah. the one... Winning. You win at any time if your set of guests include either three guests of the same suit or five different guests. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to get the agent because I have a Belgian waffle. In okay. All right. Tip. Agent Smith. Um, and then Mrs. Jenkins and Candace. They want. <laughs> the Realistically, we shouldn't hit a tie. Well. <laughs> Well, we're playing with the max players, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
And I wonder how many of each guest color there are. Yeah. All right, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Amanda, you get a dessert for your giant pile of desserts. Oh, boy. And our next guest is Mr. Healthy again. Mr. Healthy. There he is. Kind of vegetables on the board right now. High. Yeah, guess who has no veggies in her hands? It's me. Seriously, where's all the veggies? Probably in this one. Healthy. Yeah. Okay. I discarded them all because it was my entire first hand. Oh my god, everybody needs those. Your turn. Your turn. Did you get Wendy, any Nobody likes vegetables. What are you talking about? <laughs> it is false. Yams are good. I also have no like candied yams. Who guessed? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Guess the guest. Also Nature. vegetables. <laughs> oh, all vegetable the discard pile. Yeah. Oh man. Alright, good luck with that. Alright, which like, one do you eliminate? Yeah. Seriously, Mr. Guys, Healthy or Mr. Oh, every Mr. card I had for the first three matter. turns had vegetables, put vegetables on them. It doesn't matter. So put all the vegetables in the discard pile. They weren't helping me at the time, no, no, were you, they? You have to pick one no, no, of no, these. No, no, my turn is over. Yes, you pick one at the end of your turn. You have to put one of the oranges away. Who do you get rid of? Nature. Also, wait, I forgot that at the end, I am not getting anybody, so I get another dessert for my turn. Right, yes, okay. and, and who do you eliminate? Why don't we discard... She's pondering. Oh, I should probably do this, so everyone knows. No! Mr. Healthy doesn't really affect the anything. Doorway. All right. And our last guest again. The, the dude, dude is back. Dude. The dude oh, abides. that's game over. Oh. There's no way he don't got that. There's no way. What's his favorite? His favorite is fondue. chocolate fondue. Oh. I got nothing. Oh, you so draw another dessert. I, I draw a dessert, draw a dessert or dessert. you can discard your hand and draw that many. No, I'll pick it. Okay. New card, please. Yes. And uh, I guess Mr. Healthy just comes out here, or no, Candace comes out here, and Mr. And Healthy stays in the, the door. door. Nuts. This is a really strange <laughs> way for this game to run out. Uh, rhubarb crumble for Mr. Healthy. And John wins. No, wait. No. That's got to have pie. pie. Yeah, you need pie. With pie. There we go. Shoe fly pie. Very nice. John wins. Yay. He's got five That's different a, folks. Way longer. <laughs> yeah, you had a lot of dessert in your hand. What did you have? Sure did. I had chocolate covered marshmallows, which I had just drew. Um, yellow cake, which I just drew. Banana split, cheesecake, fruit salad, cherry pie, tapioca pudding, gingerbread dudes, fudge, Black forest cake and a chocolate candy bar. For the first like three or four rounds, well, I had no chocolate whatsoever. Yeah. None. No, I didn't and, like, have chocolate. Everyone for... needed chocolate and for a while. So Who had the fondue? The vegetables, and then everybody wanted vegetables. Yeah. yeah. So I ended the game with chocolate cream pie, devil's food cupcakes, chocolate angel food cake, which is exactly the same as devil food cupcakes. No, we already established that they're not the same. Uh, and chocolate dipped strawberries. So I had no vegetable and I had no marshmallows. So the veggies are all in the bottom of the deck. Um, I know, pie, I put them there. Pie points a... out that she is pie, so if we were short pie, John, you could have just could've used <laughs> her wily ways to well, get the last character. I had the rhubarb and the shoe. I drew the rhubarb. Yeah. And then I had the pie, the shoe fly. My leftovers were spice cake. Prom, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Profiter, profiteroles, and sugar cookies. So I had the one ingredient. And we had leftover in the draw pile: apple turnover, baked Alaska, pumpkin ice cream, baklava, zucchini nut bread. Yeah, that, that, that would have got the nature. Yeah. Carrot cake. I had the candied yams in my cake, hand at the beginning. Pie and pie. Yeah, I had a whole bunch of like veggie cards at the beginning, and they were not helpful at the beginning. This well, that was fun. is sort them. of eye-opening about the sheer quantity and variety of, of uh, desserts, desserts yeah. that exist in the world. Oh my gosh. So that's just desserts, which was my present for Benny. Very lovely. Today. Thank mm. you for a random unexpected present. So Benny, I think what I'm going to try and do, if I try and make a an angel food cake mm -hmm. um, that doesn't get quite the same volume, mm -hmm. 
What I might try to do is get like a coconut based ice cream no, no, and just make like a layered all. pudding. These are the guests. The but so are unequal, did you, but uh, on your uh, research about making vegan angel food cake, did any of them involve aquafaba? <laughs> I feel like yes. that could be the the volumizing agent. It, you, so my chocolate angel food cake, my angel food cake pan is about yay tall. Yeah. Going in the batter goes to about here, mm -hmm. and ends up at the top of the pan. Yeah. So. You're out of shot. I don't care. Um, <laughs> my hands aren't. No, that's true. Okay. And um, I'm I'm making sure Benny can be seen. Okay. Because otherwise I'm in front of her. Um, from what I looked up, looking at like egg substitutes, the highest anyone was able to get was if the batter is here, it rises to about here. Yeah. Um, but that means it's not as light and fluffy, which is the point of an angel food cake. Mm -hmm. So what I think I would do is then use it to layer other things. Yeah, make shorter layers. Though. Yeah. But even so, well, I suppose, I was going to say, would it be light and fluffy if you had one that started this high and wound up this high? It would probably it's still going to be, gonna be like, dense. It'll be like crispy. Yeah. Um, though, from what I've seen, cupcakes end up working quite well because it's smaller volume to yeah, start with, yeah. so you do get some lightness to it. So it'll take some experimentation. I imagine. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Well, delightful. Yay. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. So. I got the Boston guy, so I won. Yeah. Sure. We're in Boston, well, near Boston. <laughs> So Boston guy is the trump card. Yeah. Um, for next week, John, should we play? Bargain Quest? Yeah. Bargain sure. Quest. That'd be fine with me. All right. Neat. So I'm sorry that Benny and Dad will not be able to play Bargain Quest with us. Mm -hmm. But you can tune in and watch. I do quest for <laughs> a good I. bargain. Yes. Well, you wouldn't want to shop in this game because the ones who <laughs> shop have to fight the dragons. Oh, with, like, with cheesy twigs. equipment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cheapest equipment that you think will do the job. But you could be a shopkeeper and keep good price. Well, I was thinking of being Kumat Soul, but I, I don't know if I can do Kumat Soul. Well, I was going to get a whole costume together mm -hmm. and yeah, we could do a to whole talk thing. Real soul. He's sort of a. Native American slash with um, no, I wouldn't say he's Native American. That's what's the what's the continuity? What's he from? He's from Critical Role. He's from Critical Role. The 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 joke is he's a set of shopkeepers because he's a shopkeeper who has a bunch of clones um, who all work in concert in the shop. And they all, oh, you, that's, you'd have to talk to Pumat Prime about that. Yeah. <laughs> so they all refer to it. Pumat, yeah, I'll be right there. And they all talk to each other. And Matt Mercer basically does multiple versions of the same voice. Which okay. Is <laughs> but he's Matt Mercer, so that's why he can do that. Cool. I am not Matt Mercer. Sorry to say. No? But I still had a lot of fun DMing. Uh, Amanda, I would like to request at some point. Yeah. Uh, that we do a expanse role playing game. Sure. Oh, cool! We have to play with the again with the doors and corners. Well, that's the board game. Oh, the role playing game. RPG. Yes. Yeah, I'm into it. Anyway. I'm totally on board for that. Dad, Benny, I'm so glad you could join it's us. It's been so great Thanks to be here. Thanks for having us. Yes. Glad I was able to give you folks um, the traditional. Uh, Labor Day presents. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the annual traditional the Labor Day presents. I first annual. Don't get you anything. Only if we can threaten to fight people presents. in the Ganymede parking lots. <laughs> Obviously, a fight in the Ganymede oh, yeah, parking okay. lot would happen. I'm confused now. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well. I had fun. And fun thanks night. for joining in, everybody. Yes, uh, everyone. Thank, thank you for tuning in, Pi. Thank you for everybody who joined us live. We will be back uh, next week with more gaming. We look forward to seeing you then. Good night. Good night, everyone. Bye.